Magazine. Okay, everyone, this is the first of the two eight-foot oak logs there. One on the rack back there and one here. Two inches slab right here. Look at the grain on this one. These are beautiful, beautiful logs. And I've got some ideas, but I need these to dry first. So get them sawed up into the pickup truck inside, stack and stickered. I'll show you a few of them as we go along here. Look at that. Oh, fantastic wood. Look at the grains on that. A little inclusion here, branch coming off the bow. Beautiful. Okay, problem everyone. As you can see, I did not get through this oak log the other day. That's because partway through milling the log on the log deck, I ran into a difficulty of throttling up, the motor would go off. So I'm going to have to break down the machine, take it apart. I think, I it, think it has something to do with the clutch, but I'm not sure. I'm going to get in touch with the tech support team at Woodland Mills. My machine is a 2017 HM122. It served me well up till now. And if you guys have seen any of the videos on the channel here, you've seen that I've cut 80 logs to build my... Let's get a better view of it back there for those that are new. 80 logs plus to build that shop there post frame including the logs and the lumber to build that shed that's behind my car over there so i've used this mill quite a bit like i said it's about five plus years old needs a little maintenance i do the basic maintenance on it i take care of the oil do some other things to it change the belts when needed but like i said i ran into the problem of it shutting down when i throttled up so I didn't get through this log that's on here. Again, there's the beautiful oak that I just got started on. Let me contact the Woodland Mills people and I'll get back to you guys with the process. Uh, based on the description that I gave to the technical support team at Woodland Mills, they believe that I've got an issue with my clutch here. So, drive belt is off. Let's see if you guys can get in there and see that. The shaft screw, the retaining screw is out and I purchased myself a little puller. So I'm gonna to try to get this set up, see if I can get that clutch removed. Fingers crossed this works. Got it on there, secure. Got the drill driver ready to go. Unfortunately, I do not have a stand for my phone today. So guys, I'm gonna to have to put you down, have a go with this and let's see if I can get it moving and or removed. And then I'll show you what the result is. I'm gonna put you down again. Just spun loose, it is coming. I think I might have to get a shim of some kind in there. I was able to loosen it up the last few, I don't know, quarter inch. Get it off there, it's now hand loose. And there we go, that's the cover, clutch cover. Set that down over there. And this is what the guys at the shop wanna see. I'm not exactly sure they talked about the shoes, which are these things here. Well, I hope they see something here they don't like because I would hope that it's not something else. I think the clutch is a relatively easy fix to make. So this is the reassembly video for the clutch. I need to make this for myself or I won't remember how to put it back on. So imagine that this is the motor plate right here shaft sticking out this washer on first and it backs up the shoe units and springs go onto the shaft like that and once that's on the cover then goes over top from this side all right i'll take a few pictures of this and send it to the guys of the shop Hey everyone, it's a new day here at the Woodland Reboot. I've got Blue with me. Got a nice little bed for her when she's in the shop right now. I just want to come over here, 
I don't want to go outside. I just want to open the door to show everybody. We've had some more snow. We had 15 centimeters, 20 centimeters the other day. It melted a lot yesterday. I wasn't here. I've got a guy who comes in now and does the driveway for me, does the laneway. That's a big help. We're expecting another 20 tomorrow. So we've got a cold spell. We've got a lot of snow in the next few weeks. Winter here in Eastern Ontario. Come on, Blue, let's lie down. Come here. Blue's back on her bed. All right, what do we have going on here with this clutch assembly? I spoke with the guys at uh, the tech team at Woodland Mills. Great group of guys. Quick response. Love those guys. Shoes are okay. Lots of meat left on those, as I'm sure a lot of you thought. Now, the one thing they said they saw that they weren't keen about, but far from, far from a concern, is that there's a slight bit of weeping in terms of the grease on that packed bearing. I'm going to clean that up. That's one of the things they said to do. In terms of my sawmill not working when I throttle up, essentially it's shutting down while I throttle, throttle up, they gave me a couple of good uh, ideas. Um, number one, they want me to check a sensor. I'm looking at a list here in front of me. A sensor on the side of the machine. I know which one they're talking about. A little silver box on the side. They asked me to disconnect the black wire, and that's going to create an override. There's a, uh, I think it's a heat sensor on the oil. I've got that wrong, it's not a heat sensor. Some kind of sensor, uh, it might be for low oil. Uh, this is a seven horsepower engine, I check the oil regularly. They actually say, explain that that sensor is not required, but if defaulting, it would shut down the machine at throttle, full throttle. And then the other thing they said to check was just have a look at that gas cap. And then the last one, well, I think that's it for now. I think if those don't work, we're probably looking at a gas flow issue which I'm going to have to dig in a little harder. So fingers crossed, I'm going to try to get that stuff done today and see if I can get that machine fired back up. Have my trusty super clean. I'm going to use that on the clutch assembly, clean it up a little bit. This is just a degreaser. Again, super clean degreaser. And we'll clean up in there. And then we'll clean up in there. Do it to work. Blue wants to go back outside. I'll accommodate her in a second. All right, I've cleaned these off as much as I care to right now. What I need to do now is go outside and actually clean off the housing, the backside of the motor itself. So I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. Okay, I've cleaned that area up a little bit. Compare it to the before picture that you can see side by side there and you can see how dirty it used to be That is far from perfect, but good enough for what I need to do here I'm trying to find a place to put you guys down where you're gonna see the work that I need to do. I've got all my Pieces for the clutch there as well as a piece of wood and a hammer to knock them into place fingers crossed that all works Washer sits on there first now we've got this, see if the key's in there. And on the shaft, of course, you can see there's a keyway. So here we go. Let's see if I'm gonna. All right, we could have that where we want it. definitely sitting where it needs to sit. Now this was the one that was really snug. The cover took some persuading to come off with a... Yep. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, I think that's on nice and tight. It's got a lock washer in there, so designed not to come off. 
Okay, the clutch is back in place. And before I do any of the other troubleshooting, um, I can leave the gas cap loose to create the, um, to prevent the issue of a, a vacuum. And then if I get around to the other side of the sawmill here, I'll show you this other troubleshooting. So the technician was telling me to disconnect the black wire. That's part of that sensor there. Now, all right, let's get the drive belt back on. These are pretty easy to do. That's in place. Now for the saw blade, a little trickier, but not that hard. You get used to putting this stuff together. You figure it out. Okay, I'm going to adjust that blade and be back with you guys in a few minutes. Okay, everyone, as you can see, I've got the blade back on there. Everything's back together. I need to adjust the uh, little safety bar over here so you don't log dogs, log stops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all shut up and ready to go. Get all of the latches down fire this up and see if it's going to work. Everything's reassembled. Blades in, drive belts in. You guys have seen all that. Now, a couple other things I've done. I've adjusted the throttle cable. I might loosen that a bit. I'm not sure if I've got that too much now. Here is this silver little box on the side there. Ignition said that the problem could actually be with this black cable here. And if it's faulty, i.e. if that component in the sensor has gone off and it's five to six years old and he says they do this. I ran the motor, I'm not sure if I've got the footage on it guys, but it went off. It just chugged out again like it had before. So, like I, as you can see there, I went ahead and disconnected that black wire. Let's see what happens now. So I'm not exactly 100% sure what the fix was. Gas cap is loose so that there's not a vacuum effect being created. I do believe though, based on the discussion with the technician, I do believe that this wire here that connects into this little sensor, I think that's the issue. And thank goodness for the support I that I received from Woodland Mills. Um, looks like I'm gonna be able to be up this afternoon and running again. I'll get this oak log off the deck. We're expecting I think 20 to 25 or 15 to 20 centimeters tomorrow. So I'd like to get this cleaned up, cover up the uh, saw deck, and I'd like to get this one off. So I'll run this this afternoon, clean up this oak log. Great thanks to the guys at Woodland Mills. I think the two gentlemen that helped me were Christian and Gordon in the tech team at Woodland Mills. Gordon gave me a call the other day, ran me through all of the different options and troubleshooting I needed to do to get this mill up and running again. Thank you to Gordon. Thank you to Christian. And as always, I'm super impressed with the Woodland Mills team. This is an entry-level sawmill. I'm a hobbyist. Suits my purpose. I'm five years into it. Love it. And the service that I get from the team there at Woodland Mills continues to be top-notch. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take care. Look forward to seeing you in a future video.